Hey guys, Ryan with Cajun Cardboard coming at you from the great state of Louisiana. Another PSA grade reveal. They're coming in hot and heavy. I'm trying to space these out so you guys don't get bored. I'm kind of trying to put them intermittently in our uh, in our cross country collection playlist, interspersed amongst the PSA submissions and the digging for gold and the other stuff that uh, that comes with this uh, this raw collection that I've acquired from Connecticut. If this is your first time watching one of these videos and you don't know what the hell the cross country collection is. I really highly suggest you go back and watch video number one and it'll make a lot more sense and it'll be a fun little journey along with me. There's been some highs, there's been some lows. Today is a high. Yes, you heard me right. We have recently seen PSA grade reveal videos that are uproariously fantastic and then some that are impossibly, preposterously, indefensibly stupid and bad. And so uh, consistency Consistency has not been uh, the word of the month, to say the least. Uh, today's episode, you're going to see 50 cards. 28 of these are low-end Michael Jordan. The other 22 are low-end 90s cards, not Michael Jordan. So I decided to sort of mix them up and intersperse them. I was worried that maybe sending all 50 Jordan cards got me to a different grader that gave me not so great grades and so I decided to mix them about 50-50 in here, a little bit less than 50-50, uh, about 44-56 to be precise um, with Jordans and then Kobe's, Garnett's, Iversons and weird stuff like that. So you guys are going to like this. This is a 50 card submission. It is PSA order number 18 if you're keeping track at home out of 26 PSA orders thus far. I sent this on November 30th. It came back on February 7th which is uh, about a little over two months, about two and, a half, two and a half months, something like that, a little shy of two and a half months. Watch the grades, enjoy that. I go quick, so keep up. I apologize for the glare. By the way, I'm wearing my nice homage shirt. It's the uh, Zion and Ingram NBA Jams homage shirt, um, which is, is always nice. If you wanna buy a homage t-shirt, go in my YouTube description, click my affiliate link, it'll take you straight there. Go buy some t-shirts, uh, give them to friends, give them to family, give them to kids, and uh, support the channel at the same time. Homage.com makes some great uh, sports apparel. Uh, anyway, enjoy the grades. We're going to go really quick. There's some cool stuff in here. Come back at the end. It's a three-part deal. That's how I do my grade reveals. I give you the introduction. I show you the grades. We come back at the end. We look at pops, prices, uh, percentage of them that gemmed. We look at what I'm keeping, what I'm selling, what I'm sending back, what I need to crack and sub. And then I solicit input from you guys because I love taking you guys along uh, for the ride with me because there's nobody else here in the great state of Louisiana who does what I do. But I know you guys watching at home do and everybody's got an opinion and uh and i love to hear them as long as they're courteous <laughs> so uh enjoy the great review of the video guys come back at the very end we'll have some fun we'll look at some nerdy data and some math at the end PWCC is a great way to sell your sports cards. If you're looking for a way to support the Cajun Cardboard YouTube channel, consider using the promo code CAJUN, all caps, C-A-J-U-N, when you're selling your cards on the PWCC marketplace. All right, here we go. As always, we're starting with the, uh, we're gonna start with the bad stuff first. Bad stuff, I mean, stuff that PSA said, we're not gonna grade that for you, Mr. Cajun Cardboard. We're gonna send it back and you're gonna have to deal with it elsewhere. Uh, the first one is an uh, atomic refractor. <clears throat> so this is a uh, Stadium Club Class Axe atomic refractor, uh, Jordan and Stackhouse. That will have to be sent back and we'll try to run it up the flagpole again. Uh, a Jordan 1998 SPX Finite, just a base card. I don't think, yeah, that is numbered. It's serial number to 10,000. So to the low, low number of 10,000. That one did not get graded. And how about the other one? The Jordan uh, SPX Finite number 100, also serial numbered to 5,400. So significantly more rare, right? Incredibly rare, 5,400. Also did not get graded. So those three will go back to PSA. All right, I'm gonna start grabbing cars. These are gonna be Jordans and non-Jordans. Uh, how about that? We start with a 10, just a regular old base, 96 Chrome, number 131 Kevin Garnett, PSA 10. So pretty cool second year Kevin Garnett card. And um, I should know who that is. He's, oh my gosh, I left my glasses. I do this every time, sorry. All right, I got him. I got him. Um, Kenny, 
Uh, looks like the guy, Kenny, that, I can't remember the damn guy's name. He used to play for the Rockets, but uh, that can't be him. He was fatter than that. Anyway, KG posting up, second year KG card. Maybe a set collector, maybe a KG collector. I don't know, but it's a PSA 10, so I'm happy with it. Uh, how about this? The other KG, 1996 Chrome, number 45. Um, two KG cards in the same set, and uh, also came back a PSA 10. So two for two on KG, 96 Chrome. Pretty cool. How about this? Three for three. We're starting the day off hot. Hot, hot, hot. 1992 Upper Deck International, number 118, the Italian PSA 10, Michael Jordan. And then I don't know what the hell happened here. I had to have missed something horribly wrong because I thought this was a pretty decent looking 87 Fleer. I know it's not a 10. I thought it had a chance at a seven or an eight. The centering left to right ain't great. The centering top to bottom ain't great. But corners and edges and surface to me looked on point. I don't know what I could have missed for this to come back a PSA five. Uh, I mean, I've seen fives. I know what a mantle, you know, Bowman 52 tops mantle and a Bowman 51 mantle and a Kareem Abdul-Jabbar five look like it doesn't look like this uh so I, I don't know maybe I'm maybe I'm nuts that one definitely will need to be sent back there's no way I'm gonna get a five a second time around uh you guys know if you've seen these even the international I think in the international there's also the error this is the in your face it's a Jordan two-time dunk champion. It's card number 33 from the 1992 Upper Deck set. This is the Italian, international Italian. Came back a 10, and it's got the correct years. 85 and 90 are the incorrect years. 87, 88 is the correct years. And I don't know if there's an error 85, 90 version uh, for the Italian. I just don't know enough about the Italian. The other 87 was a sticker, right? I pulled both these out of the uh, complete 1987 Fleer set that was in the Cross Country Collection. Actually, two of those sets. This one came back in eight, so I'm super happy with that. And this will be for sale. Every single, um, not every single, you guys are going to see in the spreadsheet at the end of this video which cards are for sale and which cards are not. So uh, there will be no secrets there. Uh, 97 Metal Universe. Just missed, got a nine. Guess what? 97 Universe, just missed, got a nine. That's the difference between like a $4,000 card and like a $300 card uh, is just one little uh, scintilla of uh, blemish or something that they saw. I thought both these cards had an outside chance. I knew they weren't going to be thrilled about throwing a 10 out there because it makes it a $4,000 card, but shit. Uh, these are some pretty damn good looking nines, and if you're a gambling man, it might be worth cracking and trying again. Which, you know, is something that I might even look at. I haven't even thought much about it. i uh, got a lot going on, if you can imagine. Um, how about this? We've got the, uh, the 1996 Collector's Choice, number 23, Jordan, PSA 10. You guys can see I'm off to a hot start. Center stage, one of my favorite early year Jordan inserts from 93 Skybox Premium. As simple and elegant as it gets. you got your center stage logo down there in the bottom, and then you got your bedazzled script up there at the top, which I love. Uh, this one came back a nine. It's a really good looking nine. There is no hiding uh, any issues on these and uh, corners and edges look supreme, but it came back a nine. Ten's actually a pretty big card. Uh, nine, eh, not, not quite as big. Uh, 96 top stars. There's three base cards uh, in 1996 tops NBA stars for Jordan. There's 24, 74, and 124. This is the number 74 uh, golden season. From Jordan, 1990-91, and this one came back a 9. Here's one of the others. 124 came back a 9. Right, So that's another one of the base cards from the exact same set. And then you're going to love this. Oh, wait. This is not it. Sorry. I got the orders wrong. 1996 Skybox Z-Force. This is a Ray Allen rookie Z-Kling. For you uh, guys who don't know, it looks like Z-Force. Everything about it screams Z-Force, but it's the Z-Kling, which means it's a sticker. And on the back, there's nothing, and it's a PSA 9. So that is a Ray Allen rookie, technically. Still not a great deal of value there. And then you guys can see Matumbo here humping the floor. But on the other side, you got Ray Allen actually playing basketball. So humping, playing basketball. Uh, we'll give Iverson the front since he's uh, he's uh, you know actually playing basketball and he was the better player. Um, this might, maybe, I'm thinking... Matumbo actually maybe should be on the front because you'll see the card number on the back, but they slabbed it Iverson on the front. Interesting. I have to check on that. Let me know what you think in the comments, but I was always under the impression that if the card number is, is facing, that's wrong. It should be on the back, number on the back. So this should probably be Matumbo and Iverson, but this is a Stadium Club Class Axe. 
uh, with uh, with those guys who would later be teammates, of course. So PSA 9 for that one. Um, good looking grade here, huh? How about that? 1997 Upper Deck, number 334, Defining Moments. Jordan Pippen, Robin Kukoc. Came back a nice, juicy, succulent, just sexy 10. Uh, but not as sexy as this. This is the, the biggest card in the bunch, and it is a base card. Yes, I get it, but this 1998 Skybox Thunder, number 106, coming back a PSA 10. I think I've sent three or four of these from the Cross Country Collection in total, and this one finally rung the bell. Uh, PSA 10, uh, don't own one. I will add this one to the collection quite certainly, and this, I think, value-wise, I think might be the most valuable card in here. I think... Check the spreadsheets. I'm trying to remember what I plugged in, but I think this is about a $350 uh, base card, believe it or not. If you look close, a lot of people don't notice it, but look at the ball. It's kind of like like hot metal in his hand. Like It's not the color of uh, an actual ball. It's like, um, I don't know, it's hard to describe. Almost like the Metal Universe stuff. Uh, how about this? Just missed. 95, nuts and bolts. Number 212, came back a 9. Ray Allen, rookie, hoops rookie. That gold foil's tough, man. Uh, came back a nine. Not a bad grade, just not much value there. Got some Ray Allen. I missed on all the Ray Allens, if I recall. Z Kling, uh, the hoops, um, the 1996 Ultra, this Ultra Encore right here, uh, card number 265. Also came back a nine. No value there. G KG, I went nuts. I hit everything on KG. And how about this Kobe Ghost card down there in the bottom right? Yeah, that's right. He's laughing. Uh, KG getting his dunk on 1998 Fleer Tradition Vintage 61 came back a 10. Guys, look at the stacks. Can y'all see the stacks in the background? Tens, nines, eights, and below. Only two non nines and tens. Uh, this was a good order. I, I wish it had been a more valuable order. A lot of these cards are low end. Uh, how about this? Another 10. It's an Allen Iverson rookie. I really am surprised this does not have more value. I realize it's not a rare card. Um, but just Iverson rookies, man, geez, man, these base rookies don't have any value at all. You'll see in the spreadsheet what I'm talking about. Uh, another Ray Allen miss, his Skybox Premium Base 201, came back an eight. I was kind of torn whether or not to grade these Ray Allens. His metal rookie came back a nine. Ultimately, I was like, if I get two tens, it's worth it. If I don't, I probably, it's probably not worth it, but it's really not going to be that damaging. Uh, but of course, I missed. This eight needs to go here, by the way. And there's the nines. Uh, one more Ray Allen, Skybox Premium, another nine. So an eight and a nine on those Skybox Premium number 201s. Uh, International, this is the Italian Fanimation, and it's the uh, Bird and um, Jordan Agent 23 Birdman card number 90, came back a nine. Uh, another copy came back an eight. Uh, that same card we saw before, except this one comes back a 10, which I needed. This is the 96 Top Stars, number 74, came back a 10, and here's another one. So I think, if I recall, I went 8, 9, 10. So I will take that all day long. The 10 will go in my collection. I'll sell the 8 and 9 for not very much money. Uh, this is a card that's really worth some money in a PSA 10. It's just a really hard card to grade. High gloss on this card, super shiny uh, for a base card, especially for a Stadium Club base card. Uh, came back a nine. Good looking card. There's a one of a kind version of this. I think it's serial number to 150. I think that's right. Uh, nine, nine sucks. We really would have liked a 10 there. Zuberman. I had a 10 on one of these. I can't remember what order it was in. It might have been this one. I'm not sure, but uh, this one comes back a nine. Of course, that's a 97 Z Force subset Zuberman card. Uh, 96 Iverson Skybox Premium Base Rookie Card. You saw the uh, eight and the nine for the Ray Allens and then uh, nine for the Iverson. Bummer. Did I do something stupid? No, I got it right. Okay. Uh, how about this? I crushed KG. I don't know what the deal was, but KG, I went like five for six or something stupid like that on PSA 10. This is the 1995 Kevin Garnett insert wave of the future. PSA 10, it's a pretty low pop card. This card's got value. This card does have some value. This insert for uh, a KG insert rookie. Uh, Kobe, they just won't do it, man. They just won't give me the 10, but what a great looking card. What a great looking card. 97 Metal Universe base card, 81. What are the odds that they knew in 1987, 81 would be a number that mattered? It's kind of crazy if you think about it. PSA 9. Duncan, PSA 9, absolutely worthless. Shockingly low value for a Tim Duncan PSA 9 Metal Universe rookie. Shockingly. Uh, Ray Allen, another miss. 96 upper deck to the base, number 69. How did they know? And he got game that, no, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to go down that road. Card number 69, uh, PSA 9, Ray Allen, rookie card. Uh, another 9, just a base card. Thought it had a chance at a 10. Only a 10 matters. A 9 is like, 
you know, maybe you're getting your grading money back. Uh, here's where I started missing on the KGs. I think I sent two, maybe three of these, actually. I think I sent three of these. Uh, the SPX, these are just tough to grade, man. And it's always the back. And you guys can kind of see, look, if yeah, I'm trying to get it. There's so much glare. It's so terrible. I know everybody cusses me about my glare. But, um, you know, I knew these weren't going to get 10s. I, I thought maybe I could, if I got lucky, it could get a 9. But 8 is not surprising at all to me. At first, when I looked at these cards, I thought this was damage to the card. And that was like edge damage. But look, same it's just lights in the background, but it does look like it's like foil loss. It looks like edge damage. But if you look at the cards next to each other, you can see it's on both cards. So learn something every day. Uh, those were eights. Yes. Yuck. Uh, Jordan miniatures came back a nine. There's a very, very small graded population of this card. I don't know if it's because it's so damn cheap. I don't know if it's because people folded that out. These cards are perforated to fold into a standing trophy. Maybe little kids used to do that. Maybe that's why they're not getting graded. I don't know. Uh, but that one came back a nine, which, I, I, believe it or not, I don't have a 10. So that'll probably go in my collection. Another Ray Allen miss, man. I was torn on whether to send these damn things. Sent it, got a nine. Uh, Tracy McGrady, they won't give me the 10. No value there. Got to be a 10. It's a 10 or bust on that. Uh, this card, I don't have this damn card in a PSA 10 in my collection, and I really like it. It's uh, 97 jams down here. I love that font. I think that's really good looking. Um, of course, Matumbo is going to do nothing about this two-handed dunk from Jordan. 97 upper deck. It's just a subset card, number 139. Came back a 9. There's the other Garnett. I knew I sent a third one. This is just the base, uh, and the base came back a 9. So 8, 8, 9, and look, there's those dots up there that we thought were you know, maybe edge wear or something. Uh, I'm doing, am I doing something wrong? Nine, nine, nine. Okay, I'm putting nines. I was making sure I wasn't putting eights in the nines. Look how many nines that is. It's nuts. I uh, got a 10 on this one. Uh, court Perspectives, 97 Upper Deck, card number 165. Jordan in a suit, shaking hands and kissing babies. PSA 10. I don't own it, so I'm happy to add it to my collection. Another one I don't own, Bulls Playbook from Collector's Choice. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Collector's Choice was about the cheapest product in the universe, despite the fact that it gives birth to a Tier 1 Michael Jordan Hierarchy card. Can you name that card in the comments? I'm not giving it away, but it is serial number to 100, and it is badass, but it comes from these Collector's Choice packs, which were like a nickel. <laughs> number 370 here, Jordan and Pippen, when they used to speak to each other, not so much anymore. 10, happy about it. Uh, another KG-10, man. So, like, half this stack is KG-10s, which, sadly enough, are worth nothing. 95, just this regular old Topps paper rookie. KG, number 237. And then, last one, 93 Topps. Missed on this one as well. So, we saw I missed on the other Topps bracket thing, and I missed on this uh, Topps scoring leader as well. None. But that's it, guys. That's your, uh, that's your deal right there. Just to go through it again, there's KG, there's some Jordans. <clears throat> there's KG, there's some Jordans. Again, the Jordans aren't huge. An Iverson 10, KG 10, the biggest card probably in the lot, if I had to guess as far as value goes right there. Another Jordan, collector's choice, cheap Jordan. Uh, this card's actually got some juice to it. It's got a, a few dollars behind it, and so that's a pretty decent card right there because it's the Italian, another Italian, and then KG and KG. So look at the KG 10s stacking up for a grand total of like $13. Uh, and then uh, the rest are Jordans and then just one Iverson 10. So uh, not too bad. We're going to look at the data. So hang tight. Here we go. Back to the spreadsheet for about three or four minutes, and then I'll close it out for you guys. All right, guys. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, let's get to the data. You guys know how I do it. I go from uh, introduction to grade reveal back to the spreadsheet so you can see the numbers that everybody seems to nerd out about like me. If you do things like me, your life is lived by spreadsheets. That's how I get my kids to practices and games. That's how I don't forget uh, obligations to my spouse and family, and it's how I keep track of my collection. So uh, PSA 10s, 14 out of 50, that's a 28% gem rate. That's pretty freaking good. You guys know if you look at Jordan cards often enough in Card Ladder or whatever data sales pricing tool you choose, you're not going to see 28% gems on Jordans very often, especially when you're grading them 30, 40 years later. Uh, PSA 9s, a whopping 26. Look at the PSA 8s and below. Three weren't graded. So only seven out of the 47 cards that were graded came back PSA 8 or below, and only one of them came back below an 8. That's weird, and I'm going to crack and resub that mug. Uh, that's that 87 Fleer, if I recall. So really, really good percentages. The 
that's the good news. The bad news is I just didn't send any valuable cards. <laughs> so we'll go through it real quick. Uh, the Duncan McGrady Kobe Metal Universe is 999. Uh, if those come back tens, you're talking about significantly more money. It's just very subtle, the difference between a nine and a 10. Uh, and then the multiplier from a nine to a 10, especially on those Metal Universe cards from 97, the original Metal, Metal Universe, that, that price disparity is nutso. Go look at the Jordan if you don't believe me. Garnett, I just crushed it. I mean, I started coming out of the gate hot as a firecracker. 10, 10, 10, 10. Those actually do have a little bit of value. I told you that way for the future is pretty damn low pop. Pop 32 in a PSA 10. That's a $275 card. And then the two uh, second year tops chromes. I think that might be set collectors pushing those up. Not so much KG collectors. Uh, I mean, the 96 tops chrome is worth more uh, than and the 95 tops rookie card uh, in a PSA 10. That's just weird. I think these are low pop uh, because it's mostly set collectors that are grading these second year tops chrome KGs. And so maybe a set collector will see this video and be interested in those cards. They are certainly for sale. If you see a card in green, it's for sale. If you see a card in red, I'm going to crack it or I need to resub it because it came back, you know, not graded. And if you see it's in yellow, that means I'm keeping it in my collection. <laughs> missed on the SPX KGs. Obviously, there's no value there. I lose on those. Uh, the Tradition Vintage, it's a pretty decent card. It's only a pop nine. And I, I don't know if that's a set that people are going to collect, if there's any anybody in the world collecting that set. But some people like it. Some people hate it. I'm the guy who hates it. I just hate that. I don't like that stupid 98 Fleer Tradition Vintage stuff. I don't like those uh, cards. I don't think they're good looking cards. Uh, that's just me. I don't like retro stuff. Ray Allen, I just, it's a complete swing and a miss. Look at this. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Ray Allen cards in a row. They went uh, nine, eight, nine, 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 nine. You need tens to make any money on Ray Allen. As you can see, 10, 10, 45, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. So I'll be lucky uh, to uh, make my money back. As my father would say from our poker playing days, I am sucking hind teat on uh, the Ray Allen cards that I submitted. It did not work out well. Uh, the Z-Kling being the biggest one with 45 bucks. Stadium Club Class Axe with the uh, Matumbo the Humper on it. I think that's slab backwards. Again, remind me. Let me know what you think in the comments. Did I get that wrong? Maybe I did. Um, Iverson Skybox Premium. I just went on Iverson. I went in uh, 10 on that upper deck, uh, UD, UD3, that upper deck cubed. I told y'all that. Don't you think that would be worth more than $65? Damn, that seems really cheap. Um, but uh, I, I saw 65 when I looked it up on Card Ladder for a PSA 10 uh, UD3 Iverson rookie card. Uh, then let's get to some Jordan action, right? We'll finish out with uh, 28 Jordans in a row. Um, nothing to write about there. The 165, I did come back with a 10. That's only a $35 card, uh, but I need it <laughs> in my collection, so I'm going to keep it. Uh, the Jordan Pippen Kukoc Robbins, actually about a $175 card. That's only a pop 20. Also need it in my collection. Missed on the nuts and bolts. Uh, I misspelled Thunder here for some reason. Let's go ahead and put an N in there. Uh, actually, that would be uh, PSA that misspelled it because I cut and paste from their uh, grade, pop grade results. Uh, 98 Skybox Thunder, number 106, came back um, a PSA 10. And like I said, that's the biggest card in here. And it's a card I... I you know, if I had to pick which card I wanted to get a 10, it would be the 97 Metal Universe Jordan Base number 23 because I would sell it for a lot of money. Uh, it would be worth more in a 10 than this entire uh, 50 card submission probably combined. But uh, <clears throat> the Thunder comes back a 10, and that's also a nice hit because I don't have it and I need it, and that's not your ordinary base card. Uh, the Italian Fanimation Bird Jordans uh, came back 9 and 8. Not too much value there. It needs to be a 10. Uh, as I said, I missed on both Jordans, but even a miss is a $300 card. So uh, two PSA 9s, it could have been worse. The International 118 and 33 Jordans that you saw from uh, from uh, Upper Deck International, those Italian copies, uh, both gemmed, and those are 125 and 125. And uh, I, I don't have these highlighted. I don't own them, but I don't collect uh, foreign cards. And so those cards will be shipped out to uh, to anybody who collects, uh, you know, basically folks who are chasing that Jordan set registry. That's where those cards get their value from is that you know you got these maniacs out there like Frankie Gonzalez and Josh Dawson amongst others who uh, are literally trying to collect every single card in the Jordan Master set as high a grade as they can in PSA slabs and so <coughs> those cards will appeal to some of those folks 
Uh, 1987 Jordan sticker came back at eight. That's 225. Even the shitty Fleer in a PSA five comes back. It's a $180 card. I am cracking and resubbing that card no matter what. Stadium Club 118. I missed. It's still an $80 card. I'm telling y'all, in a PSA ten, that that base Stadium Club card is actually not a high print run card, and it's worth a lot of money. Uh, Z Force number 190. That's the Superman. Got to hit a ten or it's ten or bust. Miniatures. Uh, 100 100 dollars for that miniature. I put that on there. That might be aggressive, man. The only reason I say that is it's a pop 15 in a PSA nine. This is that perforated collector's choice card I showed you guys. It's uh, kind of gray and red and white. It's a uh, pop 15 in a PSA nine. There's only two tens in existence. It's a really rare card. Uh, I say it's a it's a card that's rarely graded. <laughs> and again, that could mean two things. It could mean it's a rare card which I don't think it is. I, in fact, I know it's not because I probably had 50 of them in here uh, in this collection, but it, uh, it is, uh, or it's either really cheap and that's why people don't grade it. Uh, but if it's a pop two, it's going to matter to somebody. Uh, the NBA stars only hit on one of them. And when you hit, that's not bad because it's a pop 26, $275 card. I think that was the only um, one of the three 1996 NBA stars base Jordans that I was missing is the card number 74. So really happy that that's the one. I did send three of them and I went eight, nine, ten. So uh, moving along, didn't grade the finites, either one of those for Jordan. Didn't grade the Jordan Stackhouse Atomic Refractor. So I got to send that damn card back again. Uh, the center stage just missed, but like I said, $125 is still pretty cool uh, for that card. I really like the card. I do own it in a 10 already, so this 9 will be for sale. Uh, and then I just hit on these two super cheap little collector's choice, the Jordan Pippen card and then the collector's choice number 23 base card. Uh, and those cards are still two-figure cards, not much there. But there's your number right there, 4045 for those um, those 47 cards that actually did get graded. I don't want to sign a grade to any of the cards that were in six because they'll appear, in, <coughs> they'll quite likely appear in a future uh, grade reveal video if PSA at any point ever decides to grade the damn things. But uh, that's it, guys. And so um, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if I missed something again. I talk fast, I move fast, I grade fast, I submit fast. And so I am making mistakes left and right. I know that sounds weird for a nerdy, uh, math centric uh, spreadsheet, um, you know, way of life. But I make mistakes all the time because I just I, I don't have time to slow down to do things correctly. So I just kind of run through stuff. Uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Keep collecting. Stay positive in the hobby. And peace.